What is our aim? It is the use of the Constitution for the benefit of the people. Who is likely to oppose us? The rich and the corrupt. The rich and the corrupt. What method will they employ? Slander and hypocrisy. Slander and hypocrisy. What are the factors that will encourage their use? The ignorance of the Sankalot. The people, therefore, must be instructed. What are the obstacles to their enlightenment? Debate. Journalists who mislead the people every day by shameless distortions. The paid journalists who mislead the people with shameless distortions. What conclusion follows? That we ought to prescribe these writers as the most dangerous enemies of the country and to circulate an abundance of good literature. What other obstacle is there to their instruction? Their destitution. Destitution. When then will the people be educated? When they have enough bread to eat. When the rich of the government stop bribing treacherous pens and tons to deceive them and instead identify their own interests with those of the people. When will this be? Never. 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 It's interesting that that's a private document. It's not something he, he published. He didn't stand up in front of the convention and say, when will, when, when will, when will that time come? Never. Um, and quite possibly if he had, he would have been accused of counter-revolutionary activity in, in his own right. All authentic revolutionaries were always deeply suspicious about the final result. So this never of Robespierre's he was well aware that the struggle goes on forever, so that it's almost a kind of an oriental wisdom that the only satisfaction that we can get is the satisfaction of the struggle itself. I think it's the expression of the pessimism that has been with him since before the revolution started. A terrifying feeling that he carries inside that the whole enterprise is doomed and their efforts will be ploughed under and forgotten as revolutions have been ever since the beginning of the world.